Hi everyone, we are about to leave West International. Uh, we're going to fly over Cuba and go to Grand Cayman, uh, assuming everything works well and I really figured out all the right procedures. So, here we go. Key West Tower, Cirrus 346 Tango Juliet, ready for departure, runway 9. Cirrus 6 Tango Juliet, out to depart to turn right, flying heading 130, clear for takeoff, runway 9. Clear for takeoff, heading 130, 6 Tango Juliet. Key West Departure, Cirrus 346 Tango Juliet, we'll be just off Key West at uh, 500 climbing. Cirrus 346 Tango Juliet, to a search, but I contact into 130. Heading 130, 6 Tango Juliet. Let me show you my flight plan. It's actually uh, fairly simple. We are going to go zoom out of the map here. We're going to go through a couple of fixes and follow some airways. Airways are not Victor Airways because we're outside of the U.S., but it's the same basic idea. So we're going to go to this GPS fix called TADPO, then UVA, which I don't remember what that one's called. Uh, 423, Barter, then UCL, then a 2V, then GCM, then MWCR. Miami Center, Cirrus 346 Tango Juliet, 6,900 for 15,000. 346 Tango Juliet, Miami Center, Roger, the uh, Key West Altimeter, 3012, and uh, that final course track, Capo. 3012, and confirm, we're direct Capo. Capo 1695, contact the Minnesota 124.55. So, as you can see, the radio calls are pretty simple. That's it. It's just contact the Minnesota 134. One controller to the next, and off, and that's all. Six Tango Julia, contact the Venice Center on uh, 133.7 Elf High for in about uh, five minutes, five minutes, transit. 133.7, Six Tango Julia, thanks. Okay, this is the moment of truth. We're going to talk to Cuba. Havana Center, Cirrus 346 Tango Julia, level 12000. 346 Tango, Tango Julia, Buenos Dias, Royal Contact, maintain for level 120. Set at Timothy Standard 1013, 899 assist. Buenos Dias, maintaining 12,000 and 3013, 6 Tango Julia. Confirm, and uh, confirm uh, final level requested. Uh, request 15,000. Well, come by. 346 Tango Julia, Rana. Go ahead, 6 Tango Julia. How uh, do you read me? Loud and clear. Very clear, and confirm uh, 2 meter standard. Uh, say again. Uh, negative, I'm at 3013. You want me to go to standard altimeter? Sure, not sure. On Havana, I power out the standard altimeter. Copy that, 29.9 or 2. Didn't know that. I think I just may have, may have made a mistake, but apparently when you fly over Cuba, you use the standard altimeter at 15,000 feet. In the U.S., you don't do that until you're above 18,000. We're about 95 miles away from our destination. Time to start figuring out what we're going to do. Here's Grand Cayman. Over off to the side, these little islands here, that's Cayman Brack and Little Cayman. Uh, so now let's figure out what we're going to do. So first thing I do is go over to the info page. And on the info page, I will put in our destination of Grand Cayman. Take a look at the weather. Looks like... Wind 070 at 11 knots, two clouds at 2,000, and altimeter in metric is 1017 millibars. Um, so that looks like it's probably going to be runway 8, is my guess. So let's take a look at charts and see what they have. They've got a GPS 8 and an arrival sequence. They've got two arrival procedures. And let's check them out. First one is Gorin. And this one looks like it is a arrival procedure to runway 8. So that looks like what we want. And what it looks like is uh, straight from a 2V uh, to the VOR at the field. And at the 12 DME mark, begin an arc. And do a 10 DME arc until you join the final. So not too bad. We're close. Now's a good time to ask for lower. Then approach 346 Tango Juliet, request down to 11000. 346 Tango Juliet for request, for your request, for that time, before I make contact with Cayman, compared to 120 decimal 2. 120 decimal 2, and over to 1200 on the transponder, 6 Tango Juliet. Over. Okay, that was odd. 
and the rest of the flight was totally uneventful. And before long, we were at the Cayman Islands, and look at this view on final approach.